All right, so now that we have the engine in, um, I'm basically going to start putting everything in, starting from the back and then working my way to the left side. And then I'll do the right side last. And after I do all that, I'll put the serpentine belt on, everything on the front, like the power steering pump and all that sort of good stuff. I'll put that on and then I'll throw on the front end and then that's going to be it. All right, so the first thing I did was I went ahead and uh, tying down these 10 millimeters right here tying down those and then I uh, connected my uh, my ignition coils as you can see here and then down here I tie up that 10 mil and then this 10 mil to hold down the the back harness all right so what I did next was I uh, uh, on my car at least um, I have uh, what I did was I messed with the wire harness a while back and uh, I pretty much redirected most of the ground wires to right here to the back of the block so just to make the overall appearance look cleaner. Anyways, so I put my two ground wires back here. And then after that, I went ahead and noticed that I have these two sensors right here. One's for the, uh, o or both of them are for the O2 sensors. One's for downstream and one's for upstream, but I don't use these. So I'm just gonna tuck them away or I'll probably cut them later. And uh, this dude right here, this guy, this sensor right here goes to your coolant temp sensor right there. But before I plug it in, I'm going to redo some of the harness on it, just like I did for these guys. Uh, these three wires, don't worry about them. Again, it's it's just me doing some, some wire harness work. Same deal for this dude. Uh, this is your OEM map sensor, IAT sensor. All I did was just pull the wires out from in here and then just made the line look a lot more better and uh, just redirected it. It just looks better in my opinion. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Um, you do have this uh, cam sensor back here. Plug this one in. And then you have another cam sensor right here too, but I need to redo the harness for it. So I'm gonna redo all that real quick and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. So that's gonna be a ground right here. The two grounds right here. The coolant temp sensor. What else did I plug in? Uh, and the cam sensor. So now I want to go ahead and uh, I, I put in my fuel rough again, by the way. Now I'm just going to go ahead and plug in the injectors. Put this one in. Next one. And final one. Alright, so the injectors are plugged in. Yeah, injectors are, the injectors are plugged in. Put in this dude over here. This is 100%. Uh, this, this isn't going to be on your guys' bill. This is just strictly for mine. So This is actually my uh, map sensor. It's a 5-bar map sensor. Uh, I know I have this one on here. It's another map sensor, but I don't use the map sensor on here. I just mainly use it for IET. So if you look over here, I just have two wires in those two wires are used for IAT and then while those two are being used for IAT um, the other two wires that I cut off basically go into this guy and then send a a, a signal back to the to the Helltech ECU that I have that's why I'm running a, a five bar map sensor all right so looking over the back part nope pretty much good uh, these two are the only ones that are be left hanging for now um, this is another cam sensor. This is your exhaust cam sensor. Um, of course, this is your intake cam sensor. Then you have your coolant hose. You go right here. Um, this one goes right there to the top, to the left one. And then the bottom one goes to the right side. So I'm gonna go ahead and get clamped real quick and clamp it down. Basically everything in the back is done now. Um, that's plugged in. Uh, coolant lines are plugged in. Uh, all of my uh, power cables they're connected to the to that and the reason for that is because of course my battery is relocated to the trunk so I did my own uh, uh, battery relocation kind of thing going on over here so uh, all that's fixed up covered really nicely um, I'll probably put some tape just around this all the way down uh, so then let's see I'll deal with that ground wire later so now that we're done, now that we're done with the back stuff, I'm gonna start going ahead and uh, messing with this wire harness right here, and start plugging in the starter and all that good stuff. 
All right, guys, so um, just want to make a quick note for you guys. That sensor right there in front of you on the transmission bell housing, that is the crankshaft position sensor. So if you guys ever need to replace that, that's the sensor for it. Also, there's another wire that's going back here to the transmission. That wire that's being tugged on back there, that is your uh, your reverse uh, your reverse sensor to, to tell the, the car pretty much that your reverse lights are on. So uh, there's that sensor. Then we have right here the starter, which is its own separate piece right here for us too. Uh, this is a, gonna be a 13 millimeter around that boot. And then here's the, the top part of the sensor plug. All right, so I have the starter in now. Um, there's the top wire for it and the bottom wire, or well, this uh, connector right here. That's a 13 millimeter, by the way. This is all situated. Now I'm gonna move on to putting on the knock sensor wire. And I wanna say it was this dude right here, yeah. So this is also on, on that back harness. And it's gonna be this guy. So you're just gonna connect it like that. That one's connected. So let's move on to, we got that situated, this situated. Let's go down the rest of this harness. So this is the rest of the harness. Harness still, the next wire would be this guy. This guy gets connected to the back of your alternator, which is right here. So that's right in, so it goes right here. It's literally just right there. And that's where that wire goes. Next wire, let's see here. Uh, AC1, AC1 looks like, oop. This one right here. This is your AC wire. This is gonna go on the bottom of the AC, or actually the top of it, whatever you wanna call it. So it goes, clips in. All right, now you're just left with three wires. All right, let's start off with this wire right here. This is gonna be the longest wire. It's also gonna look like this, a rectangle shape. This one connects to your throttle body. We well, you have that one put it in. We're gonna go ahead and do with these two. This is gonna be for your, this is another temp sensor. This is your oil, your oil temp sensor, which is right here. Actually, I think it's the other way. No, it's this way. Oil temp sensor, which is like that. And this is gonna be your intake OCV, which is a, a oil control valve, okay? So intake OCV and oil pressure, or oil temperature, my bad. So these are plugged in. Um, I'm actually gonna redo these harness, the harness real quick for these two. And I'm gonna make everything zip tied and look nice over here real quick. And I'm gonna figure out real quick why this guy is so loose. So be right back. All right, so I did some of the harness. May look nice, decent. Uh, let's see, what can we do now? I didn't do this one because it's well it's hidden. And, Plus, I still need to figure out or put this back on. But um, uh, next up, I'm gonna show you guys that this ground strap right here. Again, I grinded down the the paint. The ground strap goes right here onto the motor mount. There's a 10 millimeter right there. That's where you put the ground strap on. And then after you have that ground strap on, then you're gonna come over here to this dude. This guy right here. And this goes to your fuse box right here, this guy. And this is gonna go to the back of the alternator right there, where that nut's at. I wanna say that's a 13 mil two or 14, one of those again. I'm gonna put this on real quick, and I think that's gonna be it for this side. And then I'm gonna put on the AC thing and then the coolant pipe, and then we'll start focusing on the left side. Now I have the power cable for the alternator on, which was a 12 millimeter by the way, and now I have that ground strap that I was telling you guys about earlier on, that's a 10 millimeter. Uh, I guess what I'm gonna do now is uh, put in the AC, uh, I forgot what it's called, the hard pipes for the AC. And I'm also gonna clean up the wiring harness like zip tight and make sure it's not going anywhere. It doesn't look too bad down here, kind of like hide it. And then after that, we'll go on to the left side, finish all the wiring on the left side, which is very little and we'll put on the radiator support frame. 
All right, so I know you guys didn't have to probably install this. I'm pretty sure most of you guys kept that AC line in here, but I had to install it. It was pretty easy. You got two 10 mils right here holding it on, another 10 mil holding it on down there for that bracket, and then another 10 mil right, let me see, right here. So that's what holds down the, the AC brackets. Um, then you have two lines. Of course, this one being your first. Oh, and also there's a sensor back here. For it it's along this uh this back harness right here and there's a se that sensor right there for the for this ac line so that's pretty easy to put in then you have uh, another one there's another line back there that little line which comes right here and comes right here there's that and then these are both held there's two of them there's two 10 mils right here that hold them on so the wire harness is nice and uh tucked away uh is it tied together Looks pretty clean down there, uh, not unorganized or anything. What I'm gonna do now is uh, pull on this coolant pipe and then I'm gonna explain some things up here on the intake manifold for you guys uh, that I'm not gonna do in this video, I'll probably do it tomorrow when I put the, the frame on. Uh, but after I put the coolant pipe on, we'll rotate to the left side and then we'll go ahead and continue and, and plug in some more wires and whatnot. All right, so you have the 12 millimeter right here that holds it up, and then you got 12 millimeter right there, and then one underneath as well. So uh, that's put together now. That's where the coolant line will go, our hose, my bad. And that's pretty much it for the right side. Uh, there's stuff that I need to put on the intake manifold, like the fuel lines, the vacuum lines, and you know, little stuff like that. But uh, I'll do that tomorrow in tomorrow's video. But um. Let's go ahead and start focusing on the left side. Wire harness that we're gonna be focused on over here is this bottom piece right here. It's, it's just across, ran across right there. That's the only uh, harness you're really gonna need to worry about. It connects to your wheel speed sensor, your oil pressure sensor, and for your uh, for your radiator fan. But um, there is these three wires right here. These three wires, they're, they're part of my tuck. Um, one's power steering pump uh, signal. And the other two are from my exhaust OCV, which is right here, exhaust OCV. And then the power steering signal is this guy. So these three are, are separate from the harness because originally these go over right here and I don't like that. I kind of want to tuck them. So what I'm doing is I'm just rerouting them down here somewhere. So it'll look more cleaner. So that's why I have those three blue wires like that. But um, yeah. So that's your exhaust OCV, and then this is your power steering pump uh, signal. Before I forget, um, I deleted my uh, wastegate solenoid, and I deleted my a my bypass solenoid, which is the uh, BOV solenoid. Those two are deleted. I don't use them; they they're not useful to me. So with Haltech, I'm able to turn it off. If you don't have a Haltech, you can't delete them. So on the right side. The right side should be the BOV solenoid and the left one should be the, the wastegate solenoid. So if you're putting it back on, that's that's what it is. Let's talk about these two wires because those are important. Uh, this guy and this guy. This guy, this dude, this little dude. This is your OEM oil pressure sensor. So this just goes on just like that. Okay. Now this dude, this connects to your fan. This is the big guy uh, that connects to the bottom part of the fan. I'll show you guys later on that. And then these two guys are very important. This is your vehicle uh, vehicle wheel speed sensor, my bad. So that's what these two wires are for. But I snipped them because again, I'm kind of like trying to tuck the harness, but I'm noticing that the wastegate is extremely close to how I want to tuck it. So I might just hold off on it for now and extend the wires now just for the meantime and disconnect it for now. I need a I need to get a, a dump tube eventually for my wastegate because I don't have one right now. But uh I'm gonna go ahead and solder these wires back up right now and then after that I'm gonna put the belt on uh put on this guy for the power steering fluid and that's pretty much it for today. We'll get ready for tomorrow and hopefully everything works out. All right, so I actually went back and uh, saw that while I was editing the videos, I forgot to mention where that wheel speed sensor went. 
Anyways, uh, those two wires that I had snipped, these go, I soldered them and everything, heat shrink, and then I extended them to with these two blue wires. And they go right here to this dude. So that's where those two wires went. Um, and then for your fan, this is what the wire it connects to. It would be usually placed like right there. And I also forgot to mention that over here um, on the harness, there's actually a wire that I snipped. I forgot what it was called, but I don't use that anymore. It's kind of like a, it's basically an intake or a intercooler pressure sensor. Uh, I forgot the, the exact name of it. But it measures it measures the pressure inside the the intercooler piping, so I went ahead and deleted that because it really wasn't important to me, because I have my uh, my map and uh, IET sensor up there. That's that's what really matters. So that's deleted. But it would usually be like somewhere, like around here, and it's just a regular sensor. Um, I'll see if I can pull up a picture of it and show you guys. But uh, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much all the main sensors for the engine. Um, we're going to do one more video on, uh, putting on the front end, the intercooler, you know, all this other good stuff that's on here. And then, um, I'll finally do a startup video for you guys and then let you guys know what else I'm working on before I start driving the car. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Um, two more videos or one more video to go and then we'll start it up.